First of all, how do we make uh, a current steering duck? So this is the abstract main abstract uh, equation for uh, digital to analog converter. So we have here the analog output A, which is actually the product of the digital world and two references, an amplitude reference and a timing reference. The digital world is just a series of ones and zeros, digital data. And in order to convert this digital data to the analog world, we need to align it to a certain rate. This is the timing reference, the clock, and certain amplitude. This is, for example, the full scale range of the DAC. We can expand this product into multiple terms. So each term will contain a single uh, bit of information and a weighted reference and uh, the timing reference will be applied via the switches. So this here will be the decoder, the synchronization clock uh, distribution drivers. This multiplication will be the switches and the sum of all these terms is actually the summation network. This approach is uh, the main approach uh, used today to um, implement, to realize uh, physically, uh, the digital to analog converter, so cursed in digital to analog converter. And here is the generic floor plan that is uh, widely used. So you have digital domain here and the analog domain uh, there. They don't mix, uh, they don't overlap. We keep them separate. Then uh, you, you create actually this one bit cells and this one bit parallel, parallel slices they are these terms. So all their contributions is collected here in the summation network and here is where the analog signal is extracted. So a slice contains at least a synchronization large, a driver for the DA switches and a DAC output cell, which is output cascodes, DA switches and current source cascodes. The pitch between these parallel slices is usually kept the same. And this has to do with uh, modularity in the layout. Now the choice of the number of slices uh, determines actually the segmentation that uh, we will use. And this is a major choice for the area, the resources, the efficiency and the uh, performance of the DA converter. Now, the two extremes for the choice of segmentation is either binary, very efficient, or unary, very good performance. Here I illustrate the binary architecture. We have the codes here and we create the unlock uh, output uh, value by a proper combination, depending on the codes, of four references, of four components. Uh, of course, as the resolution grows, so this staircase grows, uh, we will use more components. But here the point is that in binary architecture is very efficient, we use only a few switches, only a few cells. And then uh, the unlock uh, outputs are created by combinations of these. The problem with binary architecture is when the mismatch comes. Uh, when these references are not exactly as designed due to the tolerance of the manufacturing technology. Then this nice stairway becomes very distorted, particularly uh, at mid-scale. At mid-scale we'll have uh, large errors and um, uh, this is uh, for example here illustrated with uh, the mid-scale uh, non-monotonicity for which even though we increase here the code by one, the unlock output actually decreases. This deteriorates the performance very much. And the other extreme is uh, the unary DAC architecture. In this architecture, we use the same references for all cells that are being switched, which results in the problem that many resources are uh, used. So you have many switches, many synchronization latches, many drivers. However, the performance is very robust. Even if you have mismatches, 
they only remain local mismatches. So generally, uh, the performance is much much more linear. So you don't have this third order distortion pattern uh, here. Uh, this very acute third order distortion pattern. 